Okay, how you doing then, folks? I uh, thought I'd throw a quick one together. This is going to be going straight on the bench uh, very, very soon. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing uh, for Airfix's uh, newly reboxed uh, Super Mini Spitfire VB in 148 scale. So, kit originally arrived in 2014 ish, I think, something like that. And it's been reboxed uh, just for this year. So, this version has just been, uh, just been released. Uh, kit number is uh, A05125A. We've got some lovely uh, box art here. Yes, yeah, this way up. Not this way up. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of different versions here. We'll have a look on there. The usual safety bump there. The little bit that we always like to see there from Cartograph. That's not on the end there. We have oh, wrong way up. Uh, a little bit about the uh, Supreme VB size of the kit will be when it's completed. I always like to see that. So 195 uh, millimeters long, 230 wide. Gives you an idea. And the options there again. We'll look at those in a little more detail. Uh, the usual bits and bobs for Airfix Club, which is now returned. So. What do we have? Let's take some looks. So, got some done for there. We'll have a look at that in a moment. We have um, opened up stuff. Okay. So, let me see. We'll look at the plastic shortly. We have a look at the instructions first. So, we have FX's uh, new style instructions again. Bit of information about the uh, Spitfire VB on the first page again more safety bump and the uh, assembly icon instructions so where to glue where not to glue uh, from the very beginning we have straight into the cockpit we've got some cockpit sides here with some details for the uh, throttles oxygen bottles etc we have uh, parts for the seat Again, all look pretty much the same there. We have some options here. Um, if you're putting on pedals and stuff like this, if uh, if you're going to be using the pilot figure, and we have the uh, our back of the instrument panel here, which again goes on there. You got some choices again as to how you want to do that. Going into place, uh, we have the. Looks like some sort of strengthening bar just there. Bulkhead seat going in from the top. And then the other bulkhead going in. We have the pilot if you wish to use them. Again, these new style instructions, obviously the, the red bits showing the bits you've just completed. That's the whole uh, cockpit tub going in. And again, some options there if you want the cockpit closed or open. Uh, on the other side, cop uh, going together. So we've got two part cowling at the front, a single part further back. Uh, should make it for interesting uh, tidying up. Got potentially some holes to draw if, uh, depending on the option. Wheel wells going in. All quite logical. We have a nice wing spar, which looks like the uh, undercarriage is going to start being attached to it at this point. I'll have to take a look at that so we can get the right splay. Wings going together. Little window, of course, for the camera. Things going on. Tails going together. Looks like we've got some fly ups and bits. Uh, one piece uh, cowling on the bottom. Radiator going together. The smaller, uh, smaller intake there. Got some little, uh, some little uh, oh, arrows going on there. I don't think I'd put them on this early. I think I'll put one towards the end. Options again for wheels up or wheels down. Again, going into detail, explaining exactly where they should be lined up to. That's interesting. That shows a different cowling. Ooh, top cowling. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Um, cannon going in. Make sure you're getting the right way up. And exhausts. Prop going together. Again, do not glue that bit if you want it to spin. Gun sight going on, different options for canopy, open, close, etc. And then we're into the markings. So we've got a uh, our VB in camera here uh, for the United States Army Air Force, uh, Dublin, North Essex. 
So it looks like the fairly standard uh, dark green, uh, matte ocean grey, uh, sea grey, but then overpainted with the uh, with the American markings. We've even got uh, sort of patches there where like the other uh, Randalls would have been. And then we have another one here. Uh, so a bit more of an Eagle Squadron style. So this, of course, is actually uh, number one of the three uh, squadron, but, but again, flown by a American pilot. A bit more traditional looking there. Pretty cool. Liking those choices. Something a bit different. Decals, again, I'm not going to go too mad on them. They are cartograph. Uh, well, yeah, they look fantastic. Absolutely lovely. Look at these American stars, actually. It's going to be something a little bit different. This is a little uh, cartograph logo, just in case you're unsure. So they look fantastic. Again, loving some of these little little details. You easily read the few stencils that are there. They look great. Obviously, you've got the, uh, the decal there for the instrument panel if you wish to. Get the fancy out myself, but there we go. Uh, right, clear parts. I haven't been ear -pinned. So I will open. And... We've got quite a lot of distortion, obviously, in the sides of these ones. But these are the ones with like the little bubble on the side. Um, so they look a little odd. Uh, but the other ones all look quite nice. Obviously, the flat ones look quite nice. They are all crystal clear. Uh, so, in all fairness, I'm actually quite liking those. They're about as good as you're going to get from the injection uh, moulding. You've got some uh, wing tips here as well, if you're going to do the click wings. Didn't see clipped wings on the options in the box, but you know, for the uh, for the aftermarket people. So it looks as though all the parts, of course, were in a single bag and have been taken out. So we will take a quick look at those. Put them safely away. So we have the uh, fuselage sides, which all look quite clean and simple. We've got some nice restrained panel line details here. Got a funny finish on it though, it's like a slightly rough matte finish. And we have got quite a lot of flash, which is quite disappointing. It looks like it's mostly off the part, uh, but we have got a little bit around that, uh, that nose cone there. Obviously, I'm not sure if that's the nose cone we'll be using or not, but a little bit of flash around the top there. Okay, they look all right. Well, on the inside, we've got some internal detail, but it is kind of uh, ruined by these uh, injection marks. I'm not sure how much of these will actually be seen. Obviously, you're going to have that big lump of uh, our cockpit wall going in, but slightly disappointing. That one will probably need to be uh, sanded down as well. So, mm, yeah, okay. Not too bad. Uh, and we've got what looks like canopy pieces and tail. Uh, so again, this is the back side, so obviously there's injection marks all over this, but let's be honest, it's this side you're really going to be seeing. So again, we've got that weird, like, I don't know if you can hear this. Slightly rough finish. I'm not sure why that's going to take paint, really. Uh, it's way, I'm glad I'm not doing a uh, natural metal finish, but uh, otherwise it should be quite good. Got that uh, cowling there to stop any... Uh, I, I, I need constantly get like a, a dip there on every spitfire i make uh so that's gone we've got a nice uh instrument panel there wish to go with the painting uh, options got a different option for uh, the door there again i'm liking the detail on the inside of the cockpit to be fair it's quite nice and we've got some different aerials there uh so that's pretty nice uh i've got an option here We've got another version of the cowling, so you have to be careful which one you use. We've got prop here, it looks like it's got a big injection dip in it, which is quite disappointing. Uh, is that the right um, prop for this one? Sorry folks, I don't normally do this and go back to instructions, I like to try and uh, race forward if I can. D35. Uh, sprue D, yeah, unfortunately this is the prop we'll be needing. Which is quite disappointing. Uh, so that's going to need to be tidied up. Uh, the smaller parts don't have any flash on, so that's all right. Again, they, they, they can do like injection off part here. 
but then do this. Okay. Uh, single part uh, cowling on the bottom, which is quite nice, so we don't have to tidy that up. Of course, the smaller radiator is two parts, so we have to tidy that up slightly. Uh, the cowlings look quite nice, although they're not hollowed out. Uh, looks like we have an uh, optional fuel tank. Uh, need a little bit of tidying up, but that'll be all right. Uh, wingtips again, but in solid plastic, if you prefer to do it that way. So that's a nice option. We've got some nice uh, bombs here as well. Again, didn't see anything of those in the instructions, but obviously optional difference, optional ones for different parts here. Uh, the exhausts are okay, they are not hollowed out, so being fishtail exhausts, that's going to be fun. That's slightly disappointing. Okay, uh, next up, uh, we've got some other various parts for the Intel. Obviously the lovely little pilot figure, for those of you who prefer to put a, put a bloke in. Uh, this sprue looks a lot cleaner, to be honest, than some of the others. We've got some nice uh, restrained detail on the inside here. Again, underneath where the pilot's feet would be, they're all looking quite nice. Uh, seat's fairly generic. If you're not putting the pilot in, I think you're going to want some um, want some uh, oh, belts and stuff for that. But yeah, it's okay. Uh, I see it. Yeah, so that's quite nice. So the wheels are all rather basic. They do have a slot rather than a hole uh, to fit in so that you get the right way up for the weighting because there's a weighting spot here. You can spot that on the camera. See it's slightly flatter here and here. Uh, so that's quite nice. So you'll be able to get that straight. Cause, you know, I don't know about you guys, but the amount of times I've done it and I had to take them off again and put them back on again. We've got two other different variations for exhaust. Again, not hollowed out, so, mm. you know, they're going to have to be uh, have to be tidied up for me. But overall, looking pretty nice. Again, I'm not really seeing any injection marks anywhere where anything's going to be seen. So a bit of tidying up and they'll look quite nice. All right. And then finally, we have the wings. Uh, so we do have a two-part, unfortunately, uh, tropical cowling. Uh, so it'll take a little bit of a uh, little bit of effort to get that up to uh, standard. But you know, if you did fancy uh, doing a different option other than the ones in the box, it is there. Again, the detail on the wings is really quite nice, uh, really nice and clean, really nice and straight, really quite restrained. There's no real sort of rivet detail or anything like say Ed Art or something like this, but uh, it looks quite nice. It looks quite nice. I'm, I'm nice. Cannon bulges there. So, um, very, very quickly, my sort of overall thoughts. Uh, I have to be completely and utterly honest. Um, usually I pay for all my kits and then I open them up and you guys can see them. I didn't pay for this one, as you may have guessed by the fact that the bag was open. Um, I know how much this kit is, uh, and that causes a slight issue. So there's a lot to like about this kit, mainly being uh, there's not that many options out there anymore for uh, Spitfire VB. Uh, we know Ed is going to be bringing one out, um, but that's not going to be for about a year, uh, which make, really makes this the only real option in town for most people to get their hands on. Um, so at approximately £25, it's a touch expensive unless you really need a VB specifically. Um, the fact of the matter is, if you're looking for a Spitfire kit, um, Eddard, of course, have their um, Mark 9 and now their Mark 1 and 2 Spitfires. And in weekend guise, which is basically what this is, you know, plastic decals, that's it, two options. Uh, you can pick them up for as little as 19.99. And they're a nicer kit than this. So, obviously I'm going to build this up and I'm going to see what I actually think of it actually going together. Uh, it looks like it should, should build to a, a handsome beast. And again, it is an option for getting a Spitfire VB in your cabinet specifically. Uh, but if you can wait for the Adod one, I think I might. Um, and if you just want a Spitfire, I'm sorry to say there are better options from Tamiya and uh, Eddard, P 
potentially cheaper. So I'll let you guys make your own mind up. Again, as always, hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, and uh, please comment, tell me what you think. See you guys later. Bye-bye.